Hi there, and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK. Once again, live on a Friday night for this week in toys. And uh, happy eight month anniversary, everybody out there in Toyland. Because I look today, and um, time has flown by, and it has been eight months of this week in toys. So, uh, two thirds of a year. I don't know how that has happened and where the time has gone, but we are still here with you so it's been another week of action figures so we've got lots of news to get through as ever nec toy fair has happened over the last weekend there might be a certain pickup you might see behind me a little spoiler there for pickups i've got one of the most uh i don't know epic hauls you could say potentially i think coming up for my pickup segment here i've literally got a pile uh, a pile of toys that is not actual piles even though maybe I do have those. I don't know. Maybe I need to see a doctor. Well, I am Jay. This is Jay's Toy Collection UK. And tonight we do have a special guest on as well. But I will start off by bringing in the other half. You may have seen her any T toy fair in person if you were there. I will bring in Cheeky Monkey Kiara if she is no longer suffering what we like to call in the business technical difficulties. Let's see if she's working. Hello, dear. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you as well. So you fixed your Brilliant. issue. What was your issue? Uh, the link didn't work, basically. It wouldn't let me in. So The link didn't work. So I sent you the same link again, and it worked. So that is technology yeah. for you. Saying the same <laughs> link twice, it does two different outcomes. So that's always, a, that's always a weird one. But if you are in a live chat, do make yourself known. Come Say hello to us in the live chat. Oh, I've got your monkeys in the questions. chat because I can't use the chat. So you get your monkeys in the list. chat. Right, drop your monkeys in the chat for Cheeky Monkey. Let you know you're here. We're dropping those monkeys. But there's lots of topics coming up this evening. Of course, today is day number one, the official first day of Hallathon. Yes, I said the H word to start us off. I said Hallathon. It's happening. There is a poll in the chat. Get your feelings in on Hallathon. Do you think it's easier to get items this year? Nope, it's not easier this year, or it's about the same as last year. Let us know in the poll. But all of fun. That, that reminds me of Turtles, and that reminds me of One Man, of course. And there's a lot of wrestling to recap as well, with WrestleMania just happening. If you've seen that epic four-and-a-half-hour live stream through the night, then uh, I haven't seen Matt since. I don't know what's happened to him. He's prim <laughs> he's, he's, he's he's gone. He's an absolute goner. We haven't seen him since. He was here for about two solid days of pure wrestling action. It's taken far too much out of him. So I have brought in a man this evening, a man you may have seen before on the channel. If you've seen the Instagram post, you know who it is. But I probably need to start singing now. Cheeky Monkey, would you like to sing him in? Oh, I can't sing. No. She can't no. sing. Right. I'm okay. Not chat, chat, sing with me. Adrenaline <laughs> in my soul. Something, something. Cody Rhodes, it's Tanner. The Cody Crybaby has arrived. Yes. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm all right at the end of a very long week. So I'm looking forward to, I'm um, thankful that you invited me on today just to talk toys, just to have a little relaxing session. Relaxation going into the week. And I've taken the whole week off to recover from Toy Fair and two solid days of WrestleMania. How I stayed awake during night two, I don't know. I was downing prime after prime after prime. Logan Paul would have been proud of me, but I just, I, I nearly went before the main event on night two, which would have been a disaster. But I mean, did night, night two was a really good show, to be totally honest with you. So uh, the action itself, everything that went on, I'm sure would have kept you up. It did. It was, it was a very good show. <laughs> I we went to bed. She went to bed, yes. Night I two, monkey. <laughs> didn't even start night two. She fell asleep in the pre-show. So she had to watch it all on the replay, <laughs> which is a, which is classic cheeky monkey. So yeah. now talking, we will talk WrestleMania at the end of the stream. Get off. We'll, we'll give it a full little review if we can. But spoilers, this man did show up. So ladies and gentlemen, let's keep the Super Chat streak alive if we can so we're eight months into this week in toys can we keep the streak alive tonight so we've had at least one super chat on the this week in toys episodes as we come to you every two weeks on a friday night so can we keep the undertaker's streak alive 
on the week he returned to a WWE ring. I'll get to it later, but I lost my mind when this when the gong went off. I was literally uncontrollable. <laughs> but can we keep the Super Strat streak alive? Can you keep the Undertaker? Happy? So any super chat this evening, you will receive a custom. Thank you, Patrick, for any super chat. If we can keep the streak alive, so right, that's yeah, that's housekeeping. Let's go say hello to the chat, and then we'll get into pickups, and we will start with my piles. We'll start with my piles, right? Let's say hello. Who is in the chat then? Let's have a look. Let's get him on the screen. So we have Damien here. Hello, he's he's celebrating himself. He is first there. Uh, Kurt is here. Hello to Kurt K. I've just done a lot of Star Wars three and three quarter inch moving today, Kurt, because I've had the I've had the week off. So I've been moving Star Wars. Uh, Kevin BT is here. Hello to Kevin. Let's get it on. That's a a UFC reference, technically. There, I do believe it's uh, a fight reference. It can be anything, really. It could. Tariq, hello. How are you doing, Tariq? Where do we get Hall of Fon figures in the UK? We will get to Hall of Fon, but just go on HallofFon.com and we'll get there. We will get there, but head to HallofFon.com and uh, you should be you should be still okay, potentially. It's Hall of Fon at the moment. Not quite the disaster it was last year so far, but uh, we will get to that in the topics. Hello to Jamie. We have some pink hand waving. Now, Jamie, if you were watching the, uh, the live stream for the four and a half hours of WrestleMania coverage, I think it was uh, my second most live viewed live stream ever. So we had a uh, we had some great numbers sticking with us through the night. And Rock and Roll Collectibles did do a little giveaway for us. So Jamie won the Rock and Roll Collectibles giveaway here in the UK and got himself a ten pound voucher for Rock and Roll Collectibles to get all of his action figure wrestling needs. So it was very nice of them to uh, to do that giveaway for us during WrestleMania. We've got Lady Mac is in the chat. Hello. We met Lady Mac in person at NEC Toy Fair this week. She had a few little beverages. Cheeky uh, Monkey was off her head, weren't you, dear? No. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you were on the cocktails. I saw you were sat right on the there. mocktails. Oh, the mocktails. The mocktails. Alcohol three. Cheeky <laughs> Monkey was alcohol three. There is a man that we threw out of Matt's car at some point today. Hello to Figure Cave Dot Collectibles. Adam <laughs> Batman is here. Is it evening all? You'll catch us on the replay. There was a, yeah, good reminder there from Damien. Hit that like button, everybody, uh, if you could. Uh, let me go. I've got the graphic for that. That's a good reminder. See, let's get the graphic up. There you are. So, if you could hit that like button, leave your thoughts, of course, in the comments. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And, of course, tickle that notification bell. So, tickle that notification bell because there will be more live streams to come. I will tell you now, I will be live on Monday talking Marvel Legends. As soon as I finish work, will be the uh, will be the key to that one, because uh, for some reason they decided to put the Marvel Legends stream on Monday, which is my first day, and I'm in the office all day, so that's going to go very well. So thank you to Dwight, Ryan, and Dan for that one. Your timing could not have been any worse. Everybody else in the chat here. We have got Damien. We said hello to Jamie. The monkeys are everywhere. We have got monkeys popping in the chat. Hello, monkeys in the chat. Monkey, monkey pop. He's turned out. He's alive. He's still with us. We're like travel. Oh. There we are. Someone woke up when this man said it. Hello. Yes. Hello to Matt. He's still, I thought, I thought somebody killed him. We haven't seen him since WrestleMania. Uh, we haven't seen him all day, actually. So uh, he is he is still there. How are you doing, sir? And oh, the streak, ladies and gentlemen, the streak. The streak's still alive. The streak has been saved. Damien, thank you to Damien Mastori here with a five pound super chat to kick us off and keep the eight month long streak alive. Uh, I did see Times 2 Captain Planet Duke Nukem's on card and the Hawaiian shirt versions. Next year's NEC Toy Fair for me, perhaps. Now, I know exactly what you're talking about there because I did see that table at NEC Toy Fair with the Duke Nukem's in the Hawaiian shirt from the Captain Planet because I did have those. And I was a little boy, Cheeky Monkey Kiara. I was a, I was a big fan of Captain <laughs> Your favorite Planet. thing when I was a little I boy. <laughs> I did have those. So that's a line I'd like to see brought back is, is Captain Planet. Uh, we could do some. Tanner, were you a were you a Captain Planet collector back in the day? I did. Uh, no, I wasn't a collector. I did watch the cartoon back in the day. Uh, the little kid with the heart ring kind of annoyed me after a certain little while, so I I watched it, but uh, I, I I wasn't a toy collector of uh, Captain Planet, and I don't think uh, if they redid the toy line, I'd jump on it. To be honest with you, no, he wouldn't. He would not be jumping on it. I certainly. 
will be jumping all over it. So let's get Damien a super thank you. Let's go for what have we got? Damien's always a fan of the Thundercats. So let's start with Thundercats to see if Cheeky Monkey gets it right this time. Thundercats. Um, I'll on, go. Monkey. I don't know. On the run. We, we only went through this like three weeks ago, dear. Yes. Oh, I slept since then. She has slept since then. What did Hacksaw Jim Duggan used to say with his two by four? What? USA. USA. <laughs> no, sorry. Not that one. <laughs> right. It's an absolute disaster. It's a farce. Well, it's not oh. my fault. You never... What is it? You can't right expect me to know all the sayings and things I don't know. I've never watched. Well, thank you to Damien for the super chat. Now, Cheeky Monkey Kiara. Thundercats Ho. Now, do you remember that? We went through this just a few weeks ago here. No, I don't remember. Don't you Why remember? Why would I? Now, what did Pete say? What did Little Leaf Creation say to you at Toy Fair? You were like the star of the show. The star of the show, darling. <laughs> They're here for you. They're here for you, and you can't even remember a thing. Oh, you could have... It's, it's not something that comes naturally to me, knowing these programmes that I've never she, watched. She, but they may be the sound for you, but not for me. I, I don't quite know how to, how to recover from that section, dear. <laughs> Uh, we have a question from Tanner here for Lady Mouse. Hello. Yo, Joe! Did your old friend like the Toy Fair find? So he messaged me on the day uh, and pretty much a couple of days afterwards. Uh, I haven't seen him to give it to him, but yes, he did in, He did appreciate the pickup. So uh, I, it's still in my car boot, but I've got my version here and we'll go over that as well. Excellent. We will get to that. Uh, who else is here? Paul McCarthy is here. Hello. Hello, Jerry Cheeky Monkey and Mr. Tanner. Hope all is good. So we did see Paul and Lady Mac. And we have a new subscriber here. Hello, too. My pronunciation is going to be terrible. Uh, Juana Man. New subscriber here. Hope you don't mind. I absolutely smashed your like button now. I do not mind. You can smash my like button all day long. There was a Cheeky Monkey. Do you, you're not jealous of a like button smashing there, are you, my dear? Let you carry on. Here we are. The light button Tanner's has the been smashed. Where's Tanner going? Tanner is on the run. Yes, on the going through the car? Right. It's happening live. No, happening live. Uh, the, the cat wants some food, so I'm just going to go and feed her quickly. So um, it's a case of, as opposed to just walking off, I'm just uh, feeding the cat. Well, that's, that's fantastic. We will go with it. So for the first <laughs> time ever on Jay's Toy Collection UK, we have a live cat feeding. Now, <laughs> could you describe in detail the food you are, you are giving there, Tony? So, she, at the moment, she's got two plates full. Uh, one which is just a normal whiskers. And then she got a little treat today that she didn't finish all of, and she has gone straight back to, which is leftover cut-up roast beef. Ooh. Looks nice. She's eating, she's eating better than me. I've had a sausage roll and a bag of uh, ready-salted. <laughs> now, now, cheeky monkey, what do I do when I go down the cat food aisle? Oh no, we do we have to go here? So you know, dreamies are a cat treat that you can buy for mm. your cats. J it's J like cocaine for cats, yes. <laughs> well, Jay thinks it treats for him. He says they're called dreamies. I need to try them. I said they're cat food. So he gets a bit excitable down the cat aisle. So I have to oh, take so him away from the cat. Oh, so it's cocaine for Jay as well, then, in which case. <laughs> yeah. Well, he went, I thought it was, it was I, not food for him. It's food for cats. Yes. But I have to keep guiding him away from it. I have mistakenly thought Dreamies were actually human treats. There was a, So uh, they look like pockets or something. I put in a bag. I thought, oh, these look colourful and fun. I was like, <laughs> she's like, it's cat food, dear. I'm like, oh, dear. Well, it's just, so I've never tried it now. Them. Well, I think close. surely it's close. placement would have given it away in the supermarket. Well, it was uh, in the that... aisle. Jay oh, okay. It not, to be fair, he wouldn't notice things like that. Right, so, yeah. Cats rule, says Lady Matt. Cats rule in the chat. Right. Let's go to action figure pickups then. Let's do some pickups. Let's go. Let's go and do some pickups. Right. I've got a banner for that or something. God, I got to remember how to use StreamYard these days. Where's that? I've got far too many banners, you see. Where's the one we need there? Pickups. There you go. That's all I wanted to put on the screen quickly was. Pickups. We we'll get it off now. Cheeky monkey, you can kick us off. What you got there? Pickups. Well, I've I I've got a pickup. Um, it's been driving Jay mad for the last couple of days, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Yes, you you showed him you're being very annoying. 
<laughs> I've got um I don't know if you can see it on the screen. I've got a Toy Story Tamagotchi and I absolutely love it, but Jay hates it, so I love it even more now. Um so I've been leaving it here to wind him up while I go off to work. He's like, That thing won't shut up. <laughs> has <laughs> has Jay not to tried to kill it, it yet? Well, I'm I, I'm sure if I leave it long enough, he'll probably put it in the bin. So yeah. my strategy is when it beeps, I've ignored it, hoping it might die. I think if, <laughs> I, if, I, if I don't feed it, then maybe the Tamagotchi will be will be no longer with us. But uh, I didn't really want to press the buttons in case I broke it, so I didn't know what was going on. What's this? Lady <laughs> Max, I'm having time of the life here. Just Jay runs the other side of the house when you shake the bag. <laughs> shocking, Lady Max. Shocking. There was a. There was a <laughs> Was there. Right, Tanner, Tanner, get us back mm -hmm. on track. What have you got? Sam? Okay. So, um, in the past couple of weeks, I've had quite a few pickups. I've got, a, I haven't got everything here, but I've got a little variety. Ooh, um, like so, but, yes. So, first things first, Jay, what's your one rule about your collection? My one There's no rule. rule. About my collection. <laughs> my, my there is one rule, rule technically. I, yeah. I, I do have a rule that has to be on display. If it goes in a box, then I would well, I'll get rid of it. That's a rule I keep. Uh you've you've disappointed me, mate. You will okay, oh, what's oh, the, the one rule, rule I mock you? The other rule. The one I mock you for. I can sell the gimmick. I can sell the one in the question. He walked into my house and what did he find here in this house? I can't remember. I know it was He's... something you said you never collect, but you have one of them. I can't remember. She is right. There was a does am I, am I on the, the right line? Know, does, yes, you are on the right line. Does anybody in the chat know what my one rule is? You've got yourself 10 seconds to write something. We'll see if it happens. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tanner, take it away. So Jay's one rule is no selects in the collection. Uh, Whether or not he still has broken said rule is We've another question. We've got the winner. Jamie's there. No select rule. No Perfect. select rule. But I've broken Jay's no select rule with the Crimson Dynamo figure. Ah, He's a great you. figure. He, he, Yes. Phil Jones, very great looking figure. He's gone in with my Winter Guard Marvel Legends. He's, in a, he's a guy in a suit of armor. Bigger than he should be bigger than him. And he's brilliant. He's brilliant. Although I have had a bit of a mishap with one of these cogs in which it's kind of like disconnected. This one isn't supposed to spin around, but it spins around. So it, whereas it's not, it's still functional because it stays there unless I decide to move his arm and go crazy with it. But nice figure, good figure. Uh, we will then go on to... I've had quite a few Marvel Legends turn up in the past few weeks. We will start off with something that's very popular, especially this week. X-Men 97. Wave yeah. 2 have arrived. And I'm going to showcase Cyclops. But I've had the entire wave turn up. Well, first wave I bought and then sold and then rebought Wolverine back. I kind of want Magneto back as well. But the others I'm fine with not having. Cyclops is actually in my comic X-Men display. So I sold the old uh, Warlock Wave Cyclops and yeah. Jean Grey's put to a side as well and replaced with this, a good improvement. Uh, so again, that, oh, that cartoon is amazing. I will state that. Then we have had, we've had an angel turn up, an angel come, fly, come flying in. And if you notice, you know, if you notice, He's got, he's got, he's got his paint on his boots. Got his Shout out to a Mr. Who. Yes, go, he's yeah. got a, some paint on his boots. Uh, shout out to a Mr. Who, who may or may not have seen the YouTube comments on his review. Who knows? Um, <laughs> watch Dan's review to see what we're talking yes. about. If you've not seen Mr. Who's review of the angel and the potential dodgy paint app that you might have missed. Mm -hmm. And then we've had all the Wolverine two packs. Well, I say all of them. One hasn't been released yet. So we've got uh, Wolverine and Lady Mandarin, who's in the display. So I'll show the Ninja Wolverine. We've got uh, Sabretooth and playing card Wolverine. He's got his full house in his hand. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's got his full house in his hand. Yeah, he's got his full house. If you're that's a poker cool. player, you know that's a good poker hand. We've got the Brood and uh, Wolverine as well. 
uh, and he also came with Lelandra. Very nice. We have had the other wave, uh, the other two figures turn up as well with these two. Or what oh, should I say? These two. Oh, look at that. Back to back. Oh. And finally, we've had two big things turn up. One I'm not going to show. The other one I am going to show. I'll show the one. So, Jay, you know I've been going on about this bloody figure or vehicle for at least a year. Now I know where he's you going. Yes. Yes, it is a Mezco. Anyone who's probably watched me on this channel knows I've told uh, I've definitely spoken about it on this channel, this particular thing. So if the chat want to have a quick little guess as to what it is before I do show it off. Let's have a have a look. What's he gonna show? What Mezco is Tanner Tana gonna show? Let me just catch up with the chat while you get your guesses in. Now they're all trying to get me on selects here. Damien's trying to get me on Annihilus. Paul McCarthy's trying to get me on Captain America. Kevin's got a few. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the no select rule. I, I've had them over the years. I keep the bases, but not the figures. So I'm staying strong. I'm staying strong. Select lizard. For the moment. Yeah, I, that was the one I was <laughs> caught on. Tanner caught me out. Literally walked in the toy room. First thing he saw was the lizard. I haven't lived it down since. It's in the bin. No. There, so. <laughs> it's in the bin, did you say? We've got a guest of a, a Transformer Mikey. It's not that all. we got a nope. Ghost Rider and a Punisher. Now, I do want that Ghost Rider, but I don't think it's that either. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's so it's I'm going to give it a couple large, more seconds right? before I show it off. It's very, very large. I know so I'm going to have to go to guest here. Cheeky Monkey. Yes. What's Tanner got? What's it's a vehicle of some sort. Is that what you said? It, it is a kind it of is, vehicle yeah. of some sort. Yes. Now, I have told her what it is before. We have had a discussion. So let's find out. Does she listen? What Mezco item? Is it with turtles? Or? No, it's it's nothing to do with turtles. The other pickup is something to do with turtles. But this has nothing to do with turtles. And you called me, Jay, have you? In a I have. We've got technodromes here. If Mezco did a technodrome, we'd all be in trouble. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. If anybody <laughs> did a technodrome, we'd all be in trouble. <laughs> That's it. Is this a bus? Is it a, is it a bus or? Oh, uh, it's a Tariq's Not closest quite. to Rumble, Rumble Society. Ooh, we're getting there slowly, slowly. We're getting there slowly, slowly. I, ha I don't think they'll get it. I don't think they'll get it, so I will show it. And it's a Nez Mezco mech. So it's the Gomez, Void Wars, and the mech suit. Amazing, amazing. Oh, it's, ever since I saw it, it's been a grail figure of mine for ages, and I've been going on about it. To Jay for near enough a year, and when I got paid in eight uh, in March, my yearly bonus came in. So I thought, first things first, let's pick up this fucking mech. So, so priorities. Admiring your big boy. Yes, big boy. first things first. Uh, priorities is there. Priorities is there. So I definitely picked up this boy, and uh, I've taken him out, had, had a little play with him. Amazing figure, no regrets on it whatsoever. The other thing. The last thing I'm going to say yeah. that yeah. I haven't got here at the moment. It's bigger than this. It's a turtle van. It's something I haven't actually paid for since the, <laughs> it's been <laughs> invoiced since the start of the new year, and I've only just paid it off. It's the Super 7 turtle van. Uh, yes. I so I've had that as well. The turtle van wars continue because I have the <laughs> NECA one. I have the. What other ones do I have? I have the 2003 one. I've got the Mega Blocks one. I've got the movie one. There's probably going to be at least a couple more. I don't remember. But we have the Super 7 Turtle Van turn up as well. You're going to start a collection of them all? And just have a uh, you know what? Play. I'm going to have a little garage of all the Turtle like, yeah. Vans like, next to each correct. other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Should be cool. Yes. A, so whereas uh, it, they are quite all big, but they're big. They Boys. are big, aren't they? Yeah. It's a case yeah. of it's not. It's a nice figure. Dan, I know Dan picked these up quite a while ago, and he's been sort of like, "Oh, I'll check it out. I've got it. I've got it." So I figured finally, when the bonus came in, another thing I had to pay for. Yes. No. Very nice indeed. Now, cheeky monkey, this will make me look better because if you add up the value of the turtle van oh, and the mech suits, I'm not even gonna. It's. I'm gonna tell you, it's more than my first car. That's what I'm <laughs> I, I I imagined it's a, a lot a lot of money, yeah. And that's why you didn't buy yours. <laughs> so that's, see, that's I made myself feel better. 
for a few <laughs> seconds there. So, Tana, thank you very much. Uh... Although, in saying that, I did save quite a bit of my bonus as well. So, uh, whereas there's been some irresponsibility, there's also yeah. been some response, uh, yeah. some responsible saving as well. Yeah, well done, Tana. Very good. Uh, when uh, when Woolworths went bankrupt and I was we were made redundant from Woolworths, we had our like severance pay. I I spent mine on toys. I bought Marvel Literally. Legends with. Uh, I bought a laptop and I bought Marvel Legends with my Woolworths uh, severance pay. <laughs> I am one for responsible. I, I dread to think if Jay got a bonus, what he would do with it. He, it would probably be spent before he even got it. <laughs> it's uh... hot, hot, hot toys and Mondos, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's made a point here that I'd forgotten about, so we'll cover it now. I do believe you are right that Brian Flynn did say on Robo Don't Know channel that the 2003 Ultimate Turtles will be going up pretty sharpish. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like. I'm trying not to get dragged into another Turtle line, especially not another Super 7 Ultimate line, but... Don't need don't any more lines, great, I don't have great yeah, nostalgia for 2003, but I'd like to see what they look like at least. Go and watch the 2003 cartoon. It's a very good cartoon. It's, uh, I think, my favourite cartoon out of all of them. Whereas I'm an 80s kid. I was born and raised with the 80s Turtles. I do love that 2003 iteration of the Turtles as well. So I will... Whereas I've got the originals as well as the original Turtle fan. And, and I've got the original Shredder and a, and a Foot Soldier. I think I'll be picking up these Super 7s as well, depending on how they look. Yeah, I, I've never seen it, I don't think. I remember selling it at Woolworths, because I started at Woolworths in 2003, in the toy department, ladies and gentlemen. So that is how the, uh, the Chase Toy Collection career started off all those years ago. Uh, so I do I know what they look like, because I remember selling the toys. Jamie said all the episodes are on YouTube, so oh, oh. I can't. You know what I'm like? If I watch a cartoon... Can you start watching Trump, something? That's I've it. Only watched, I've only watched two episodes of Street Sharks. I've already pre-ordered the first wave, <laughs> so... <laughs> so yeah, a... they're slippery slope yeah. for you, Jay. Yeah, it, yeah, it could be. It could be. <laughs> right, it's time to get into my giant pile then. So now I would have had all the Wolverine two packs like Tanner, but I had to cancel all of them because I bought far too many other toys. So they're going to have to go on the back burner, and hopefully they don't sell out. Along with some GI Joes that might have to be cancelled soon, which we'll get to in a minute. But right then, the pile two weeks of action figure collecting summarized in a few moments let's find out i've literally got every line i collect <laughs> nearly apart from well, actually no i don't i don't have any there's a hot toy coming tomorrow but i'll have to wait um it's hugh jackman wolverine spoilers for a for a future for a future uh this week in toys but i will start you off with i don't know i'm just gonna start grabbing so on theme for this week then x-men 97 even i've gone in for one at least so there is the goblin queen madeline Pryor couldn't resist um so she has been she has been purchased my first figure I, yes i think she is actually my first figure from the x-men 1997 line so trying not to get suckered into the whole line but the show is fantastic i won't give any spoilers yet because i know people haven't had a chance to all watch it but go and watch it because it's it's a thousand times better than i thought it was going to be i thought they were going to potentially ruin one of my favorite childhood shows and oh, to be honest no. I think they've actually made even, it better. Even if you just watched this week's episode, this week's episode is amazing. Oh my god, I I, I did not expect them to uh, do no, what they no, did. No, nor did I. Nor did I. It was, uh, yeah, that's all we'll say on that one. We'll have to do a series recap mm. when it's over. I think because uh, we'll have to all come on together and do a big series recap because it is phenomenal. Let's go very random then. How random can I go? I can go all the way. To the Legends of Lucha Libre. So oh, really? here is the Ultimo Dragon mm, yeah. from the Boss Fight mm. Studio Legends of Lucha Libre line. So my first venture into this line, just effectively trying to complete my WCW Cruiserweight division from, from back in the day. So they literally do look like Mattel, just like Mattel Standard Elites, to be fair. The size seems good. So I picked them up from Big Bad Toy Store. So Ultimo Dragon has arrived. Interesting fact about Ultimo Dragon, he created my one of my favorite wrestling promotions in Japan. So he was the original headmaster and trainer and everything of the Dragon Gate promotion. It used to be Torimon uh, in Mexico, and then they had a split, came to Dragon Gate. He's now 
he left for a little bit he came back but dragon gate are oh, amazing uh, amazing company very fast paced uh, good action they know how to build cute, good young stars there yeah i know i did not know that there you go tana hit me with wrestling facts i don't know that's a uh, that's, that's always impressive. good i yeah. know i do i'm very impressed there was a let's skip it with wrestling then because there's a big one here we have the Coliseum collection, then Mattel Creations two pack of Jim the Anvil Nightheart, Brett the Hitman Heart, classic 1980s Heart Foundation in the uh, Coliseum collection line of Ultimates. So going forward, there'll be a black card and there'll be a blue card on all the Ultimate editions. I've got the regular blue card. I have checked. It's not the fancier black card because it had to been the black card chase I've got. I probably wouldn't have wanted to open it and they'd have gone on the walls. So I have a, I have got the regular. So, yeah, nice to get the Heart Foundation. And if you are after this one, it is on Mattel Creations, and they do have the silver version of the WWF tag team titles from back in the 80s. So first time in the line for that particular version of the belt with the correct silver on. All right, so let's reach. Let's, let's stick with wrestling again. Let's get a theme in again. So it's RVD. So we've got the cash-in RVD from ECW. Oh, I was just going to do that. <laughs> 2006, I got a pair that they know what they're doing over there. Both my co hosts here, they're in there. They've done the pose off the back of the pack. And if you did not know what they were doing and you thought there were two random humans to my side just doing this, <laughs> that is what they are doing. Rob Van Dam himself has turned up in the Ultimate Edition and shout out Rock and Roll Collectibles for this one because he is a Target exclusive. But they have imported some stock over. Because, yeah, some of these automats are proving a little bit of a tricky pain to actually get hold of. So. Jay, one one question I will ask you. Would you consider that figure of RVD one of a kind? Yes, sir. Yes, I would. There was a no, cheeky monkey. Didn't get that one. She stood there like, what's he on about? Yeah, it was, uh, oh, but, again, that was a that was a reference to uh, Rob Adam's theme music for anybody in chat that don't know what we're going on. But Kev knows um, there we are. There he is. The whole effing show. RVD himself is here, and there's more wrestling figures to come at the end because there's been a bucket ton of them announced. An absolute bucket ton. All right, let's go to He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Then, so a line that I clearly I do not collect this line. So I'm going to go on record now saying I do not collect the cartoon version of the Masters of the Universe figures. But as you can see in my hand, I'm a big fat dirty liar because uh, here's Man at Arms. He's going down there. I think I'm Skeletor as well. And I think there's Beast Man, there's E Man somewhere. But I got to box him from Big Bad Toy Store of all the ones I've missed because the backtracking has begun. If you're watching some of my coverage from the Mattel revealed event, they showed the collector vehicle, they showed um, Prince Adam and Cringer. And I was like, okay, I'm in. I'm, uh, I'm in for this line, even though I wasn't supposed to be because I do have the Filmation Classics versions from Super 7 and Mattel, but they, they got me, effectively. They got me. I saw Jared in the chat earlier. Um, he's been got by this line as well. Um, I know Adam Batman Brown's been got by this line. We need to, we need to sort many plastic multiverse out. I don't think we've got him yet, so we need to get him on this one. Tanner's come close. He's in on the, uh, the Turtles of Grey Skull, I do believe, a line that hasn't got me yet, but get your mm -hmm. email on it. Yeah, so uh, normally I would have been totally fine to skip the Turtles of Grey Skull. Uh, so pretty much got the first two waves and the first Deluxe figure. Normally I would have been totally fine to skip that, if not for another YouTuber, the Mad Hatter, uh, and his flip or campaign, which I decided to back. And because I've decided to back, I needed to have a display. I needed to have a place for him. So I've then gone into the Motu Tales, Tales Grayskull. So I think that'll be my only little foray into that, just so Flipple can have uh, some companions that, in his size, in his scale. Uh, so, yeah, it's, so that's my foray into the He-Man verse, all because of uh, the Mad Hat. The Mad Hat has got you in into a, into a line that's quite hard to get over here, it seems. Some of those Turtles and mm. Grayskulls aren't proving the... The easiest. Now, in the chat, if you could help me out here, because I've been trying to convince Tanner for a couple of weeks now, the line is called Turtles of Grey Skull. So the man needs a Castle Grey Skull playset right behind him <laughs> to display them in. He's not convinced. So convince him in the chat. Am I correct? Does he need a Castle Grey Skull playset to put his Turtles of Grey Skull in? Jay, you've said that, but 
you've also mentioned earlier with two of my pickups you know how much i've roughly spent on those two pickups <laughs> i don't think i can go into a uh castle grayskull for the turtles of grayskull live so unfortunately i'm going to still wear well clear of that thank you for your um advice on that though <laughs> Very sensible, Tanner. Very sensible. It was a very sensible. It was a very sensible suggestion. But I'm just gonna. I'm going. I'm going deep. I'm sticking with the gimmick. Because look at here. We pop over to here. Look at this. Castle Grayskull half price. Only forty five pounds, Tanner. Can you pick up a Castle Grayskull full now from Infinity Collectibles? Here, I've just found from a quick Google. Also on Amazon for fifty pounds. So less than fifty pounds for a massive playset, ladies and gentlemen. I think. Uh, I think we've uh, I think we've got them here. Surely we've we've fished them in now for less than fifty. Speak to me after the show and we'll discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get him. We'll get him. You, you wait. My first segment in a minute's hot toys. So we'll try now. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've just read here. Beware! There's a sucker in the chat. Hello. There's a. Uh, does that mean Norman Nomad's here? It does. Hello to Norman Nomad, and uh, he's saying hello to Tanner as well there. Just quickly catching up the chat while we're here. Uh, yeah, some of the original origins do go pretty cheap, but the turtles of Grey Skull does seem to be a does seem to be a hard one to get over this part of the world. Anyway, your boys got toys. Ahoy, ahoy! Hello, your boys got toys. It's all happening. It's all happening. Right, we're not even halfway through this pile yet. So oh let's uh, let's I'm plow through the pile. Oh, quite a lot in the last two weeks, love. It's been. I <laughs> the door kept going today, but you said it wasn't for you. Wasn't I'm a bit unsure now. Today. Yo, Joe, here we yo, go. Yo, Joe! He loves the yo, Joe. There's Airborne, then. Airborne's turned up from G.I. Joe. There's a load due at midnight tonight, and I have cancelled all of them because there's far too much coming out. But there's Airborne. He's turned up. Let us know in the chat anything exciting you've got in the chat. Let's get back to wrestling. I'm going to get some pace up here. going to fly here. It's The Undertaker. It's the One Dead Man Show live version. To be fair, I didn't buy that. Cheeky Monkey bought that. So uh, that one's on you, dear. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. There you go. See you. You go to Smith's. When you go to Smith's, top tip, forget your wallet. If you forget your wallet when you go to Smith's, <laughs> Not to tip. Then, then free toys. Shout out, Miss Foxwell. Here is Big Boa. Big Boa has turned up from the G.I. Joe line, so can't wait to uh, oh, get this to open. I will do a new G.I. Joe video at some point because I've been laying turf this week, ladies and gentlemen. I've been laying turf. I've been doing the digging. <laughs> I've been playing. I've been putting. I've been to put a full screen for that cackle. There was, uh, <laughs> your idea? <laughs> You've been a nightmare all week. Absolutely. All week. I'm glad that I'm glad I've been at work. <laughs> uh, would you like to elaborate? There was, uh, no. Lay, you've been laying here for a week. Good for you. There you go. A bit of astrogen. Turned into a gardener there. now. <laughs> yeah, I've turned to a gardener. There, there is grass in the toy room, ladies and gentlemen. There is grass, grass oh, in the toy room. Yeah. I can confirm. There was uh, Mama. There you are. So there is a. I don't even know who this is. Who is this? Metalhead. There you go. We're looking at the figure. Bought. You don't even know what you've bought. There we go. There's Metalhead from G.I. Joe. We saw him revealed at MCM in packaging. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you about him. He's part of Destro's Iron Grenadiers. I suppose we'll be, I suppose we'll be learning as we go along, as I do with G.I. Joe. God, I need to start getting to opening. See, I could have opened all of this before the stream because I've been building <laughs> stuff. I've been laying turf. There you go. Hashtag laying turf. I'll remember that later for the replay crew. <laughs> There's Beastman. There's Beastman. There's the final cartoon collection of uh, Masters of Universe Origins. He's going under the table. Uh, uh, here we go. What we got? We've got, I've got a very random thing here. We've got the uh, the Phantom Menace Star Wars retro carded five pack. It's six pack. No idea. Why have I bought that? I don't know. Less than ten pound a figure though. So. I'll tell you why I bought it. I, I did the retro bargain, card. Wasn't it? it was a bargain, and I wanted some <laughs> figures on the retro card reward to represent Star Wars, and that was a new one in stock. So uh, that will be going on the retro card wall. So that is to come. Right, we're we're over halfway now. We've broken we've broken Wait. the back of the pile. There was uh let's go on a let's stick with Star Wars. Let's stick with Star Wars. This was a bargain. This is from In Demand Toys. Bargain. <laughs> they bought some Hasbro clearance stocks. So I managed to Finally, pick up the concept art Darth Vader and concept Obi Wan sort of Ralph McQuarrie artwork two pack. 
because I've been after this for a long time. This thing was going for a hundred pounds on eBay, and they mm. got in the clearance stock for twenty nine ninety nine. I think. Oh wow, there. that was a bargain. So, that was. I told you it was a bargain. See. And that's why I bought Madeline Pryor to make it over 50 quid so I could get free shipping. Oh, of so, course. You just had to throw tip. another one in. <laughs> top tip. There was a top, top tip. tip. Spend more money yeah. to yeah, save Spend money. more money to save money. It is a, it is a top <laughs> tip. A, it is a top tip. Right, that's there. Where are we going? Let's get our final pick up for Masters, but this time it's the, uh, the original figure line. It's Rock On from Masters of the Universe there from Mattel Creation. It's a uh, turns into a rock effectively so tanner could buy that for his turtles turn it into a rock could be a nice little diorama piece tanner for only 30 quid. well if if rock on does appear in that crossover line then maybe but if he doesn't <laughs> then he's, he's not part of that line is he so yeah. there you go i can't tempt him i can try all i like but he's, I'm he's sensing no the hard sell is not working jay <laughs> jay, 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 jay. You, you can hard sell all you want you you've already wrote me into a line uh, already just by coming around your house and viewing it so <laughs> you've had your one line that you've broke me into and it's a very good line albeit a very expensive line so that you get your one and that's all you're gonna get that's it, yeah. one and done one and done he's a man of principles is not a man of principles <laughs> let's go to some turtles then we've got ten one let's go to some turtles so i've been i've been to see uh our uncle ali you see he helps us out from time to time it's a courteous gift so i've got myself an Evil Rex 1 has turned up from Uncle Annie. There we go. You can play, you can play Snap Deer. Yeah, <laughs> a, I haven't got one. Oh, should have bought another. Did you buy two, Tanner? It was a, I did buy two. There you go. <laughs> so you the one. other one. <laughs> there you go. Snap. Uh, here, 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 I'll pass oh, it up to you. Here you go. There you go. Fantastic. There you are. Uh, somebody clip that, would be a fantastic segment. So, Evil Rex one, he's arrived from Uncle Ali. And to be fair, absolutely mint condition box on this one. Mm -hmm. Really matter because I'm going to open it, but some of the stuff you see from Ali. They yeah, normally great, not be but... great condition. Uh, uh, it, to say it's been a bit beat up is an understatement. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do get a, a mix. Uh, Uncle Ali again with the red version of Casey Jones. So, I'm going to keep him mint on card, I think, for the wall. I've got the sort of white shirt one open, but again, another Uncle Ali, another Uncle Ali pickup there. Uh, I've got one more from Uncle Ali. Um, this was an absolute bargain, so get yourself over to AliExpress if you need one of these because it was like 25 pounds for a three pack. So I've got the uh, I've got the colored uh shredders. This one is a bit beat out, the plastic's all cracked on this one, but again, it's getting open, so that was fine. But that was one of the cheapest I thought they'd. I thought I could get a potato when I ordered this for like twenty five pounds. But there's no way I'm getting a getting a three pack. Well, that three, price. But there it is. So mm. yeah, can't can't say fairer than that to Uncle Alan. So that is the coloured version from the modern sort of recolors of the Turtles books, which are the ones I have, and I have them in colour. So I'm going to go for these coloured ones, and I'm going to stick with the blue sort of foot soldiers rather than the red ones, which we'll get to. When we get to Hall of Fame in a second. Right, we're nearly there. We've nearly there for this epic haul here. We're in a far too the, much need. The small ones we bought the other day. I have no idea. I'll find out what's the idea in a minute. We've got Biker Mice from Mars finally turned up. Yeah. You can see. So I've got uh, I've opened the other one, but uh, and I must say, out of the box, ridiculously smooth. It's like playing with the Mafex. So the Nacelle company have really nailed these biker mice from Mars. So highly, highly recommend these if you have any nostalgia for Biker Mice from Mars at all. So uh, get yourself some of these. Are you a, are you, you're a turtle man? But were you a Biker Mice man? I did watch Biker Mice on Channel 4 when it was up. It, it was a good show. Uh, I did, I, I remember, um, yeah, it was a cool show. I do remember it. Uh, I remember the bad guy was a big giant fish in a human oh, mask, right? Limburger. Limburger. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I saw these figures at Toy Fair and they look really, really nice. I, again, space, money, just that any of us have decided to live vicariously through you and everybody else who picks up these figures. But yeah, the cartoon was ace uh, when I was younger. Yeah, no, there's a, it, I, I just, one of my favorites from growing up, I think, because I had 
pretty much I think because I had the figures as a kid. Vinny was my Vinny was my favourite because I had a I, I probably still got my figure of Vinny somewhere out there. And Grease Pit, I had a Grease Pit I used to use used to put him on my Sabutio pitch and used to play in goal. Oh so, Sabutio, I remember that. <laughs> so I've got great memories of Viking Meister Mars because it was about ninety five. So I was about I was eight when it came out. So Aww. it was just a really fun, a really fun line for me. So definitely in on those. Um and right, last two items then last two items. We'll finish off. Tanner's shown you one. I've shown you one too. So when Marvel Legend I did go in for full price for was Angel. I can confirm, yes, if you were wondering, I do have the correct boot applications for the second time today. That shout out Mr. Dan himself with his dodgy paint app. But there, uh, that is okay. And we'll finish on the galaxy far, far away. Because finally, they've released little boy Anakin Skywalker. Oh, 10 oh. years I've been waiting for them to release him in, him in the Black Series. So finally. That was what they here. announced, wasn't it? MCM when we were there. It was. I, I cancelled Padme to save some money, but I couldn't cancel little Annie. So, oh, yeah. look how cute he is. See, she loves him. She loves little is Annie. He going, is, where is he going? He's going in the Black Series collection. Are you there. opening him up? I am opening him up. There was a. Oh, I've got one more. One more. Bonus pickup. Went on Amazon.com and got some more Super 7 uh, uh, G.I. Joe reaction figures. So there's Buzzer. And there's a Crimson Garden General Hawk. So uh, I do have the little collection going of the three and three quarter. So they had some of those in the sale from the recent wave. Tanner's vanished. He's been sent into the ether by either his internet connection or Yojo. It was Cobra. Cobra have sabotaged Tanner as we were just about to get into the toy news. He's been taken away from us, stricken from the record. Aww. Cheeky monkey, you might have to step up and talk toy news if... Uh, well, I was just wondering about those um, toys you bought from B&M. Toys I bought from B&M? Oh, yes, good shout, dude. You know yes, what I'm on about? I don't know what they were. I bought, I bought some all Super 7 reactions. This time, only £4. Ah, for, uh, yes. Squat and Babu. Squat and Babu there from the uh, Power Rangers reaction line. So that was a little bit of a bargain from B&M Bargains. Bargain? Oh, really, really cheap. And that was it. Over 45 minutes into the show. And we've done pickups, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been a... Yours been was a more of It's, it's been a long two weeks. Of, uh, long two weeks of toy. If you'd like to keep the public entertained here, there is a, <laughs> we have to pick up those. Alexi's in on those biker mice from Mars. Uh, Paul's enjoying those as well. Uh, Damien is after... Oh, yes. With, Limburger has been teased. Well, pretty much he has been confirmed by the cell company. We are getting Limburger next year i think and their bikes are still to come um and i go back there talking about me laying turf so uh that's a new laying turf. you want to talk about your laying turf or are you saving that for another stream uh i don't know there was uh you took it turned up but it will not connect his device so i don't know what uh the uh i was stream yards in a funny mood today tanner if you can hear me you might have to leave and come back again because it's a uh, it's always done that. Yes, yes, he's heard me from the ether. There is the joys of what we like to call in a bit. I need a new graphic here. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, definitely. Technical difficulties. So, right then, let's get into the toy news of this week. And we will start over here then with something Cheeky Monkey attended. Hey! Talk about that. What do you want me Take to say about toys? Here. It was a, it was lovely to meet up with everyone as always. Such a good group that meets up. It's actually our group's getting bigger now. We only started with a few of us, and now it seems to just be expanding each time we go. So that's really nice. It's nice to put faces to names as well. Um, so it was good to meet Pete and uh, yeah, and the gang, and we had a good walk around. I've done loads of steps that day, so that was really good. Um, but yeah, I didn't buy any toys, but Jay bought a few toys. I just enjoyed the atmosphere, walking around and getting to know people so it was good i did do some interviews with for jay for his channel so check out those when jay puts the video together i don't know when you'll do that but yeah some good video footage of toy fair i've done and That's tanner's right. back tanner's back can you hear us yes i can hear you sorry i don't know what happened i mysteriously got kicked out of the chat uh, <laughs> uh the stream uh tried to come back in it wouldn't let me come back in 
seems oh. I'm back now, though, so all is fine. All is good. We thought it was oh. a Cobra Savage charge. I got to the G.I. Joe, and it just it threw him out. An uh, I, I thought this was a ploy for you to get me to buy that Skull Mountain, uh, the Grey Skull Mountain. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm not letting him in until he <laughs> buys that yeah. Grey Skull, uh, <laughs> Castle Grey Skull. That's what it is. That was, it, was my, it was my plan all along. So, yes, it was NEC Toy Fair this past weekend in Birmingham. And you will see all three of us in this picture there. So, who can yeah, I see there well. from, from left to right? So, we've got Pete for Little Leaf Creations, Tanner's there. Mr. Dan, who is uh, on top of him there by the looks of it. Rich M from the side. Um, I'll make Big G. Big G's in there next. Then we've got uh, Dan Hayden. We've got myself in the middle there. Uh, and then we've got uh, Paul McCarthy, Lady Mac herself as well. And then we have Craig's Nostalgic Collection. I forgot on the dots deliberately, so uh, I'm not selling <laughs> the gimmick. And there's Cheeky Monkey Kiara on the end. And Matt, the touch brick himself, not the touch, change his name now. Brick Life Travels. Oh, he was oh, taking the photo. He did the driving on part of the epic wrestle well weekend. Thanks for getting there us there. A... And of course, uh, yeah, Mr. Tanner. Adam Batman Moran was also there as well. He arrived a little bit late, so he wasn't in this picture as well, uh, too. We we could we could have a, a height measure off, and we could make all sorts of height jokes around him that we couldn't see him behind the sign, but we will not do that here. Hey, hey, we actually, the, as soon as I met, because it was the first time I met Adam, the first time I met Adam, the first thing I said to him, all right, back to back, let's see who's taller. Adam is taller than me. So. Oh, Adam's taller than you. Oh. Yes, just a little bit, but he's taller than me. It was a, it was an inch or so. It was an inch or so. It was a, it was very close. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, we've the streak is doubly alive tonight. We've had another super chat coming here, four ninety nine from a man in the photo himself. There, Little Leaf Creations, popped in to say hashtag Keep the streak alive. We'll oh. catch you guys on the replay. Thank you very much to Pete to Little Leaf for the four ninety nine. Oh, there, thank you. the streak is doubly alive tonight. We are eight. I can't believe we're eight months in. We're nearly nearly up to a year's anniversary of. Wow, of can I have a party? Can we have a party? We have a party. We have to do a, a year. It's, it's my birthday next week. I could have a birthday party. A uh, birthday uh, party, yeah. Let me get the super thank you for Pete. Let's go for Tanner's on with us. So let's go for Spider Man then. So thank oh, you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. The little leaf creations there for the four ninety nine, and there is the Spider Man super chat graphic, handmade by uh, yours truly. That was uh, mm. the things you can do in Microsoft Paint, ladies and gentlemen. That was, uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I okay. So. so, yes, we had a bit of a meet at Tanner. Was, I believe that was your first NEC toy fair, wasn't it? It was indeed. It was my first toy fair in general. Um, yeah, it was fun to, interesting experience, kind of uh, kind of what I expected. It was very uh, cool to meet you. I know we've met a couple of times already, Jay, but it was cool to meet some of the others for the first time because it's the first time I met Rich. Uh, uh, Little Leaf Creations, Lady Mac. First time I met all those guys. So pleasure to meet them. And a pleasure to see all the guys who I've met previously, like yourselves, like Dan, uh, Daniel Hayden. There will be one name I'm missing just purely because it's the funny, funny thing to like not say that. But even Craig it's himself, it was fun to fun to meet. It was a, it was it was a good little meet up there. It's I, only thing I'd like to say is when they organise it next year, please do not do it in the middle of WrestleMania weekend. Yeah, it was, I agree. <laughs> by, the, by the time we got to the bar for a drink, I was like, I need a drink. It's been a long time, and then it made night two very long. There was a lot of a lot of walking, but it was it was great. It was more of a social meet up, really. I suppose I should actually show, I should actually show in full here the the final pickup. Then technically, which is from NEC Toy Fair, so. It is here. It is then. Living the gimmick now. Living the gimmick. There is the Mandarin. If you uh, saw the uh, down here extra last night, I did show him off uh, directly from Hasbro. But no, of course, it is not really from Hasbro. It is the classic Toy Biz Mandarin on card. I've now decided I am a Mandarin completionist. Living the gimmick. Hashtag. Where's my Mandarin? Well, I tell you, he is in my hand. So hopefully. Um, Hasbro do come through and give me a Mandarin. I also bought the original um, Marvel Legends uh, Toy Biz two-pack Mandarin as well. Loose. Got my haggling down. Got this for £20 on the haggle. Down from 25 So my, my haggling stills were going strong. But I finally have a Mandarin. He's going on the mint on card war. So 
I've scratched that itch at least for now. Until the Legends version turns up and then they'll be like, yeah. Yes. I, we're still going. Hashtag, where's my Mandarin? There was a uh, hashtag Mandarin Mania is running wild. <laughs> the hill bones there. We did miss Phil Jones at Toy Fair. Hopefully we'll see yeah. him in the next one. Uh, Damien, how long is it? It's about a couple of hours for us to get. It wasn't too long for us to get there at all. And are you going in September? I will try and go in September. So, Jamie, you have queued up my next graphic just like that. Now I've got to get the mouse back on the right screen. There we go. So the next NEC Birmingham Toy Fair, if anybody would like to join us all, is Sunday the 29th of September 2024. And there's also one on Friday the 27th of, Se of December. So a Christmas one again coming Ooh. up this year. But it will be MCM London at some point in October as well. So hopefully we will see a lot of you there at MCM. I think myself and Cheeky Monkey this year are not going to be trying the 24 hours on the no. Um, the coach is again. We might get a hotel room. She, Splash she'll... out and get somewhere to stay, I think. I, I, I Too many toys here for splashing out, love. I think that might have to be a... That oh. might have to be on your credit card, not mine. <laughs> so... It may, it may it most likely be my birthday weekend as well, won't it? So it we'll is. have to have a double celebration no. of MCM and my birthday. So Hashtag, we'll keep on Tanner's floor. <laughs> yeah, fine. Whatever. You can keep in the garage shirt. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Yeah, it's a... Right, so that was NEC Toy Fair. I think we've covered that one. So let's go to the rest of the toy news then for this week. If I could get the mouse on the right screen. My goodness, get on the right screen. Right. Just a community warning then now, a community warning to start us off here for the toy news. That at, uh, in literally two hours at midnight in the UK, Hasbro are dropping an absolute bucket ton of G.I. Joe. So if you are looking to cancel like me, you've got two hours to do it. Otherwise, you're going to be hit with at least probably £200 worth of G.I. Joe bills. The vamp's coming out in about 10 days as well for another 100 So G.I. Joe is going very deep with a lot of releases all at once. I think Bring Toys to Work was just updating the U.S. poll states as well. And a lot of the Marvel Legends have moved forward into late April, early May as well. So it could be a very expensive month coming up for Hasbro. But that is the bonus of Pulse. You can just get your cancellation in there um, when you need to, effectively, because uh, sometimes it all hits at once. So those Wolverine two two packs had to go for me, and poor Classic Duke might have to go as well. I think most of his wave mates have have, have gone as well. But it's, so you've got two hours, people, if you're watching this live. To uh, now Tanner's lucky. Don't collect GI Joe, do you? Nope, I have steered well clear away from these. I do have two G.I. Joe related figures. So the Transformers collaborative line, they've released one Hiss Tank and one Striker, I believe. Yeah. Um, so I've got both of those. So technically I have a couple of G.I. Joe figures, albeit not official G.I. Joe figures because they're Transformers figures. But And I can also say I've got a Hiss Tank. Not the his tank, but it's it's a his tank. A his tank, a, a play on words there. A his tank, right? Let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into our first main main topic of the evening. Then it's all the fun again, ladies and gentlemen. All the fun is here for the third year in a row. I believe it's the third year of Necker's Hall of Fun working with Target. I do believe in the US. I'm working with Costumes.com internationally here. So it's been the dirty word of the toy community, even Cheeky Monkey. She knows when she hears the word all of on, some of us are going to move. We've got our own little support group going on. So I was expecting tonight to come on here and we're going to have ourselves a right rant and a moan. But however, there is a poll in the chat and I think I would vote for, yes, it has been easier this year. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I can announce officially here on Jay's Toy Collection UK, This Week in Toys, that they've sorted out the international shipping cock-up, and we do not have to pay £80 for shipping for a $30 item. It's now got neck as usual, around £11, £11 roughly, international shipping. So, finally, after all these years, they've actually fixed the shipping issue. So that is an absolute bonus because it literally 
disqualified us from Hall of Fong for the last few years. And we've had to rely on our good friend, Mike Hex, who actually is a got me a little package coming at some point soon as well. So thank you, Mike, for uh, doing some shopping for me there. And our other friend, Tanner, once infamously called him Uncle Ali, I think. And that name has stuck ever since. And AliExpress has helped us out internationally. But for once, I think they've fixed it. So Hall of Fun officially started today, April the 12th. But if you've been in some of the Facebook groups, you've been seeing for the last two or three weeks that they've been uh, having uh, all this Hall of Fun stuff hit the shelves and people have been running in, raiding them, getting on eBay for three times the price. But this is officially week one of Hall of Fun today. So what have they put up? They put up the, the sort of red-coloured, the burgundy-coloured foot soldiers, the big one, the normal one the one with the Raiden hat, and then they put up mainly the Punk Turtle set. Now, before we get to Tanner, I've just seen your boy's got toys has dropped a Super Chat. So our third one of the evening, thank you to Alexi there for a $5 Super Chat. Speaking of turtles, I'm opening my not Donatello from Rage Toys. Great figure. Well, you're not Donatello. I have not gone in on any of those. So Tanner, I might have to defer to. When he is referring I, to his not Donatello, what is he referring to? I've got one because uh, I've got there. Uh, so Fury Toys on Five K Toys have released a last year. They released a not Leonardo Spring, uh, no Autumn. I can't remember which um, month. And then recently they did Sh uh, Splinter as the not Splinter as the Master and Donatello as thing. I've actually got him, so let me go and grab him. I'll be right back. You will go and grab him. While Tanner grabs that cheeky monkey, could you, uh, get, as uh, Abe Simpson would say, cut me a switch. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little out of water there. And then you can retire for the evening as me and Tanner take you through the uh, the toy news there. So cheeky monkey, give us a wave. We'll uh, oh. give us a wave, dear. She's off. She'll be back. We'll see her. We'll see her on the next this week in toys. And Tanner is showing. Oh, okay. Oh, it's those ones. Okay. Yeah, the little ones, they are really, really good figures with a very well uh, painted, a lot of detail on it, albeit they're smaller figures, and they come with accessory packs if you actually want to make it into a version of the Turtles. But I, I figure keep it a little bit different. So he's, a, he's got a musket, he's got his bog staff, he's got his tech on his back as well. Keep him like that. Mikey has also gone up for, well, not Mikey has gone up for pre-order at the moment, so I have thrown in a pre-order of that, and he comes with a shit ton of accessories. Also, different accessories to make him into a version of Mikey, as well as keep him into his Samurai Ninja Force version. Yeah, brilliant little figures, I would say. Yeah, there's so many, so many lines of turtles. So we've gone literally from Playmates to, like, everything these days for turtles so talking turtles alexi thank you for the super chat and there is the super thank you so thank you for the super chat and of course i've gone with what i would describe as the best turtle it is leonardo then hashtag team leo in the chat thank you for the super chat alexi as leo overtakes the screen there he covers tanners up there'll be no donny here there'll be no mikey there'll be no wrath hashtag team leo see silence from tanner there silence no comment. No comment at all. So what you can comment on Tanner is the Turtles 4-pack and Hall of Fun in general. Take it away, sir. So, uh, like you said, Hall of Fun for us in the UK past few years has been ridiculous and we've resorted to Uncle Ali. We thought we'd get much more of the same this year, but as you said, they seem to have bucked up their ideas and they've, albeit they're slowly trickling out all the stuff from hall of fun week up for the next three or four weeks so remind me i'm not sure how long this this bloody thing will last and the one of the last the 10th i've heard the 10th of may so a month of this okay so a month or so four weeks of this so split across four months and the headliner of this is the punk turtle something i've been looking forward to albeit i may have pre-ordered a version of this and probably spent around about the same amount of money to get it from good old uncle ali without root because i was expecting this to be a lot 
more expensive and unrealistic to ship him via Haulathon. Yeah, it's okay. um, I didn't find I didn't pick up the foot soldiers because um, I figured I wait a little bit. I didn't think they'd sell out on Uncle Ali. Um, so but as soon as they come up from here, I'm thinking, oh, brilliant! I'm going to pick some up from here. The price isn't too bad. The shipping's good, and it's coming directly from them. So less likely to get completely beat up boxes. Uh, albeit I'm, I'll be opening them. So, yeah, you've got the normal foot soldier, the one with the Raiden hat, and you've got a big enforcer foot soldier. So I picked up two, one one with the Raiden hat and two of the big ones because I've got the original SDCC foot soldier barrage pack. So that came with the Burgundy Shredder, two of the normal foot soldiers, and one with the Raiden hat. So I didn't need a few more of those. So I just... Add a few because I like the that burgundy color. These blue ones, whereas yes, I picked up a couple. I much prefer the burgundy, the burgundy look, the red look. It looks so much cooler to me. It looks so much more natural to me. Um, the blue ones are nice, but yeah, it's just not not. I don't feel that's my look, even though I've got a couple of them. Yeah, now I've I like the burgundy color ones. I I had that. One of my biggest collecting cockups. I had the original Burgundy four pack years ago, but I sold it when I when they started bringing out the cartoon stuff all those years ago. I was like, okay, I don't need the uh, sort of Mirage stuff. I had as a stand in, and I sold that four pack. Kind of wish I hadn't these days, but I, I did. So that's that. What is what it is with that one. So when they started doing these blue ones, I went all in. And I bought about four at least of the four of the blue. And as I say, because I've got the more modern recolored comics i've actually read i was like okay i'll try and stick with the blue but I, I do agree i think the actual the burgundy design does look actually better but as you were saying about not trying to collect absolutely everything that's the reason i've not gone crazy on the burgundy one today and just thought no i'll just let them pass by you've got the modern books just go for the just go and stick with what you've got with the modern blue but they do they do look nice one thing i have noticed though in a few reviews is they don't actually fully match the exact shade of burgundy from the original four pack. So it depends on anybody out there how fussy you are with exact paint matching. Otherwise... But you can, sorry to interrupt, you can say similar with the blue ones. The big Enforcer blue ones don't match the same shade of blue as the normal foot soldiers and even the Loot Crate Shredder. They're all uh, unbelievably three different figures with three different shades of blue. Yes, it, and it does. It does irritate me as well. I, I watched um, Toy Shiz's review, I think, of the of the big enforcer, and I was like, "Hold on, it doesn't match." So I thought, "Oh, that's going to irritate me." And then they don't really match the shredder either. So whoever's sorting out Necker's color, can we mix the paint a bit differently, please? Because uh, I'm one of the ones where it will bug me. But again, there's not a lot I can do about it because that is it is what it is, and that's what they've done with them. But it does. It's one of those little bugbears that does that does wind me up. But the fact that these are more readily, I just can't believe that when we looked at it, it was around two o'clock today in the UK. So it is that we probably should say every Friday then at two p.m. UK time, nine a.m. on the East Coast, you will be getting a weekly drop of fall upon figures. So it is the big punk turtles you can see this week, and as we mentioned, the burgundy um, foot soldiers. So still to come then. We must have more Mirage stuff with Baxter Stockman. Uh, we must have the Kirby figure officially still to come, even though it's been mm. on AliExpress for quite a few weeks now. The Casey Jones and Split Foot Soldier 2-pack must still be to come as well. Anything else I'm missing, Turtles? Oh, uh, yes, the, um... Space Adventure and yeah. Samurai 2-pack. I don't know if Samurai Usagi or Jimbo is part of that Hall of Thon or not. I think he may be. Well, um, I can't and... these ones. The, uh, so shout out Toy Shiz on his Instagram here. The actual Pizza Club Turtles, the, the four individual Ultimate Turtles then are still to officially come. And you've got all the, like a bucket ton of accessories and like a little cartoon animal character with each of them, which is mm -hmm. Chief the Monkey Wants the Monkey. So I'm like... Oh, do I have to buy these now, just to get a little monkey? Now, I hope I'm wrong with this, 
but I don't think these will be part of all of them. I don't think these will go up. I could, I hope I'm wrong, but I get a sink. I get a feeling in my gut. I don't think these will be part of the online Hordathon thing. I think we may have to deviate or default to on Quali to get these. But again, we've got three more weeks of this coming up. I hope I'm wrong. I hope and pray I'm proved wrong. Um, it, it's a case of watching this space. Yes, I, I, I think they would be that hall of fun. When we have like, the planogram almost leaked out a few a, a month or so ago, they were in that image, but there were some other things as well, like a saw figure. There's been no sign of the saw neck neck a horror figure at all anywhere. The prey figure was in there. I've seen that on a few store shelves. So we will have to wait and find out on these. But these do look nice mint on card, like a nice set on the wall. I think would look quite quite nice. A good thing of NECA packaging is you get the little you get the little hanging tab which goes quite the well. Flap. Yes. Yeah the flap. We got a, we love a flap on this channel. So the nice uh, this is example here like the nice little a nice little hanger. So you can dangle that on the wall and when you walk by you can you can have a little look. So I don't really need another set of normal turtles. These are more for the newer collector that doesn't have any but I wouldn't mind them. You've obviously got loads of turtles. What are you thinking on these four? So I, I mean, yeah, I've pretty much got every version of the cartoon turtle so far. Um, I will probably keep pick these up to carry on, but I think they've given us enough with all the dioramas, with all the tell, with the tell van and everything. They've given us enough ways to display these turtles because so you've got the punk turtles you've got the turtles in disguise don't need to come out of their disguises you've got a set of turtles that can go with the turtle van a set of turtles that can go in the sewer layer a set of turtles that can go on the dial um yeah so you've got more than enough ways to store these i, I don't think these would be too much different than the turtles in disguise albeit the accessories in both they will come with completely different ones but I will more than likely probably pick these up as well, um, just as another way to s display them. So you're almost a cartoon completionist then? Pretty much, yeah. I think Dan is as well, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'm close, but I'm not quite there. I haven't quite got everything. So I was definitely missing the, and again, shout out to Mike X for finding it for me, the Bebop and Rocksteady in their robot sort of disguises, the uh, super... Bebop, Mighty Rocksteady, all the other way around, as they're actually called, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, that one was was hitting the shelves because that never did hit on Gladi previously. So I knew I was missing mm -hmm. that one. But apart from main, of all the main characters, I think I've got um, for Hallathon. Then I'd literally, well, weirdly, I'd, I'd completed Hallathon for what I wanted before Hallathon technically started. So. I've been on Uncle Ali over the last couple of weeks or so. Some of them have actually hit Royal Mail as of yesterday, so they may be with me over the next few days. But I've managed to pick up on there the Punk Turtle four pack, uh, the Baxter Stockman figure, the Kirby figure. So there's been a few stores popping up on there. They all seem to have good reviews, but uh, the joys of PayPal credit and your money back guarantee on AliExpress seems to take away some of the risk. Because I really, the same as you, did not think we had a chance. At getting these at Hall of Fun today, I was expecting to click that tab and see at least eighty pound in shipping. And when I saw eleven pound, I was, I was quite frankly shocked. Yeah, I think everybody pretty much was. We none of us was expecting it, as you mentioned, alluded to earlier. Hall of Fun has become a dirty word in the UK turtles community purely because NECA have been in effect made it so hard for like completionists or anyone looking to pick up these hall of thorn figures um because they ha a lot of the cartoon stuff hasn't hit the uk most of us had to go to our uh, uncle ali to pick these up the prior years ones as you mentioned you it's been what the third two years and you've only just got the robot bebop and rock City. so yeah they haven't made things easy for us, and I am glad. I hope it's a case of they've heard the community, they've heard the fans, they're acting on what we're saying, so that it, it, it allows more people to take part in these. Because the fact that these turtles, uh, these pizza club turtles, are going to be part of Hall of Thon, it's a way for new collectors to jump in on the line. 
purely because of the fact that how, how are you going to start a collection without the turtles in? And this will be the best way to get a normal version of the turtles. Yeah, it, it definitely will. I think one of the things I got in my first toy fair I went to was the Toker and Razor cartoon two pack. I managed to pick that up at, at toy fair a couple of years ago because, again, that's another one that was a. Uh, yeah, so NECA, sort out your international distribution. But today, we can give you a little bit of credit because, yeah, the, the standard NECA international shipping rate does seem to apply to haul upon for the first time. So we didn't need to run. Let me go and check on the poll then on this one. So let me actually, we've, we've finished our Hall of Fun segment now, so let's end the poll. And we have finished with literally nearly a 50-50, a 47-47 was, yes, it was easier to get Hall of Fun this year, or it was about the same. So only 6% of people said, no, it was harder to get Hall of Fun stuff this year. So NECA, with an overwhelming effect, nearly 94% there of the poll have improved. So we'll give them a thumbs up to start Hall of Fun at least, and let's hope it actually continues in the weeks continues. to come but yeah and hopefully yeah. good news has become to nearly oh my god we're missing it we're already in april aren't we san diego yeah. is probably only three months away so we're gonna will we see that technodrome i've been wanting will we see who it? knows who knows although one thing i will the last thing i'll say on this yeah is i'm shocked the the punk turtles haven't sold out yet it's crazy yeah. it's normally these kind of i would have expecting these uh, those punk tails to sell out in minutes. Is what? Yeah. It's six eight hours later and they're still in stock. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I yeah, know. Eight it's eight hours later and they are still in stock, which is beyond words for previous distribution. So Necker, well, well done Necker, stepping it up. So that was hauled upon. Right, let's get through some more toy news then. So this literally broke this afternoon, and this is going to break my wallet. At least, because this will be going for pre-order soon. So Hot Toys are doing a 2.0 version of the armoured suit Ben Affleck Batman from Batman versus Superman. Now, Affleck has always been one of my favourite designed Batmans. I love his Batman suits. And this probably is my favourite of all of them because it reminds me of Frank Miller's uh, classic sort of um, armoured look from The Dark Knight Returns. He's got the Kryptonite Spear. So let's take a quick look at some of these images. As again, as you come to expect now from Hot Toys and their 2.0 figures as they go back and redo them, the likeness is phenomenal to, to Affleck here. You've got the light-up eyes, the light-up kryptonite spear. It works. You've got the soft goods underneath the sort of metal plating. He will also come if you get the deluxe version, which I'm going to have to get. Is the display base because I love me some display bases. So... Hot Toys Batman going up for pre-order pretty imminently, I would assume, from this announcement today from Hot Toys. So if you are a Hot Toys collector and you are a Hot Toys Batman collector, then this may be one for you. Now, Tanner's not been around here since the Hot Toys have arrived. So well, the last time they say he walked out with Mezco's, I don't know in the future if you'll work out with Hot Toys, but I've seen him tempted by potential Spider-Men. Spider-Man. So with the recent comic book Spider-Man that was, I think, a Tokyo Con exclusive, I was very, very tempted with that. But unfortunately, that's nigh on impossible to find anywhere here. So that's, in effect, nipped it in the bud for me. So I'm perfectly fine not jumping on that hot toy train. I've got a couple of quarter-scale figures with the Michael Bay turtles. Uh, from, yeah, the Michael Bates films, uh, the monstrosity turtles, as I like to call them. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that will be my only foray into school scale and anything Hot Toys related. Good, sensible decision. Because just reading the description here, with Diecast, Hot Toys love to get their price even higher when you stick the Diecast on, so... This is probably going to be a 400 pounder, I would assume, here in the UK or a little bit more. So, um, is yeah. this why you kind of sent Kiara off the bed and kicked her off the stream just to before you started to talk about this one? This is a strategy play, right? It could have been, but to be fair, she actually likes the hot toys. I can blame her for some of this because half of my ball is because she liked them. So I was like, okay, right, you you are aware this is going to cause a, a little bit of credit card debt, darling, to actually do this. But uh, 
she she allowed it on the hot toys because she loves Tom Holland. She saw the Tom Holland likeness, and that woman was sold. She was well in there. So I've probably gone a little deeper than she would have wanted me to, but uh, I'm trying to stick to a Batman, Spider Man, and Star Wars rule at least. To okay. Get off I thought you were Iron Man at one point as well, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, was, uh, well, Marvel, I suppose, in general, mainly Spider Man. There is not, there is not Iron Man on pre order, but. Uh... We won't talk about that. There's a, no. Hello here. Answer Rhyme is in there with them. Um, yes, so people probably will sell their original versions because uh, some of these Hot Toys 2.0s and even 3.0s on some of them are much better. So there's one more Hot Toy before we get into the next segment. They have dropped since we were last on. Another one that is tickling my fancy. It's Anakin Skywalker from the Ahsoka show. So it's from the Clone Wars flashback scenes of the Ahsoka show. I do want an Anakin in the Hot Toys collection. It could be this one. I'm trying to hold out for Revenge of the Sith version, but I did like the Ahsoka show, especially the flashback scenes to Clone Wars. They were probably my favourite scenes from the show. The likeness to Hayden Christensen is fantastic. You've got the movable eyeballs now, which pretty much comes with standard on most of the Hot Toys. So this one is tempting me, but I might try and hold strong on this one at least, potentially. Are you a star? I don't think you are a Star Wars person, are you? I've watched all of the movies. Uh, I like The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a fanatic or a huge fan, but I'll watch it if it's on. Yeah. So this is definitely not on Tanner's list of temptations then. Is an Anakin Skywalker and Dan Hayden. You've summed it. That's it. But lame the girlfriend. We need that. Uh, we need that. Uh, we need that on a t shirt. Lame the girlfriend. Right. That is the Hot Toys portion done of the show. And we'll go on to Hasbro then. So a couple of things from Hasbro again since we were last on the air. I'll start quickly with a G.I. Joe one that I haven't actually ordered, but I do need to. So this is a G.I. Joe series. It's number 137. It is a wreckage and a tiger paw ATV. So effectively, a repaint of the Cobra Ferret before the Cobra Ferret is even released. So uh, they've, they've not wasted any time with this one. But I have got a soft spot for Tiger Force and the bright colours on this. So I definitely want this for my shelf, especially now I've laid some turf, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that trending again. Hashtag laid some turf because uh, this will go nicely on my turf. So I do want this. Uh, we'll need pre-ordering, and it's due apparently on the 24th of July, but their dates are all over the place. It'll probably come out next week, so uh, I haven't pre-ordered it just yet. So that is from G.I. Joe. We know Tanner's not a G.I. Joe man, but he is a Marvel Legends collector. So this was a announcement earlier from the Marvel team, but surprisingly, not really a pre-order. It's literally in stock in the US as we speak, and it's due out uh, the day before my birthday, April the 18th, it's due out. So it's due out next Thursday then here in the UK. So this is the two-pack. I did do a quick breaking news video when it was announced, which is the Hank Pym Giant Man in regular size and the Janet Van Dyne Wasp. So it's a pretty good two-pack in my opinion. Lots and lots of accessories. I'm really quite keen on the Janet Unmasked Head Sculpt. I think that looks fantastic. We've solved the mystery here of the Quinjet, so it does come with Hank Pym then, so the mystery has been solved on that one. So I think it'd be a pretty, quite a popular two-pack. If you've backed the HasLab, then of course, pretty much a no-brainer, I think, if you back the HasLab to get this one, so you can have the scaling effect there. You're going to need a classic wasp to go with Giant Man. But if you haven't backed the HasLab, then it's a way to get Giant Man. So could have been put in with the actual um, HasLab itself, but then, of course, they would have just, as they pretty much told us on the live streams when they first announced it, stuck the price of the Has HasLab up. So it doesn't really matter. It's probably better to be released this way then if they were going to increase the price anyway, because it gives other people an opportunity. So, Tanner, uh, I have pre-ordered this. And have you? And what are your thoughts? Then? Uh, yeah, I've pre-ordered this as well. Uh, it's two key Avengers. I've got the HasLab as well. Uh, HasLab coming whenever it comes as well. Um, so yeah, I, 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 two key Avengers from the beginning, early members of the Avengers do that. Unmasked Wasp head sculpt looks amazing. Um, 
the only thing I would say that looks kind of iffy on this is the lab coat, the soft goods lab coat. It, it just yeah. oh, it, does, it looks kind of iffy kind of thing. So, but um, it's a way to yeah, it's a way to get people who bought the Haslab who want to have a scaling thing going, as well as people who, are, as you mentioned, who haven't bought the Haslab to get on the giant man stuff it seems kind of uh cheeky though that they are going with a giant man two giant men a giant one and a normal size one as well because if we would have known this was coming how many people who backed the house that would have just been like oh, i'm fine with the um the regular version save a save what 200 quid um and just pick this one up instead um but yeah, it, all in all, I, I pre-ordered it. I think it's very good. I can't wait for them to arrive in the week. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It'll bring on more Avengers. Bring on more, indeed. So we have some breaking news apparently here from Jamie in the chat. If I can get the mice down there. So he has just as said that potentially it has now been confirmed that the summer program is 85 years of Marvel. So... Those of you watching Dan Hughes live stream last night, he was trying to guess what it could be. I watched the same live stream twice because I'm an idiot and was watching the uh, the bit that glitched twice, thinking they tried to recreate the whole show. So what an idiot I am. But apparently Jamie has said that we have now confirmation that it is. Uh, we're not quite sure what his source is yet. Jamie, who's your source, Jamie? We've got uh, so we, but we're going to go with it. We'll use Jamie as our source here. We'll break the news. 85 years of Marvel is the summer program. And if that news has broken, it must mean that the upcoming live stream then on Monday is going to surely be some of the product then for the summer program, which now by the looks of it is going to be 85 years of Marvel. So while I've got this graphic up, I will go live then on Monday after the panel finishes. So it's on at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, which is 4 p.m. here in the U.K., but I do not finish work until 4 p.m. and I've got to drive home because I'm in the office. Then I've got to watch the stream and then I've got to go live. So I'd usually go live about five o'clock, an hour after it starts. But it's going to have to be six o'clock, I think, by the time I can get on. And I believe Dan Hu and Rich M will be going live a little bit later in the evening on Monday as well to really break it down. So if you like your action figures and you like your Marvel Legends, then Monday is the day to be around April the 15th. I will go live around two hours after this, so 1 p.m., Eastern time, 6 p.m. here in the UK. And of course, uh, Dan here and Rich will go alive a little bit later in the evening to break down what we could be seeing from potentially what's looking like then the 85 years of Marvel program, which could mean it could be absolutely anything then effectively for this this line. That, that, that literally means no rules at all. They could literally announce 10 items of their complete choosing. So Tanner, you might be in luck with your... Uh, Pacific Deadpool. Well, yeah, after. you know what? We're one step closer to that parting fire Deadpool I was going on about yesterday uh, during the stream. Yes. So um, if it does happen, brilliant. <laughs> I'll, I'll count that as the ultimate win. If it doesn't happen, I'm sure what they will announce will be great either way. As I mentioned yesterday, I think it will be a way to just dogpile or everything that has an anniversary into one Marvel thing. So you can have Superior Spider-Man, Symbiote Spider-Man, uh, Punisher, Secret War, although I think Secret Wars will have its own little thing. Um, yeah, it just other, other things that have anniversaries or have had anniversaries recently, just throw it all in, see what comes out. Looking forward to it on Monday. We will, we will see indeed. And Damien is absolutely convinced. He did message me earlier with a uh, potential tease of that flame effect relating to Iron Fist. He was showing me some comic covers where potentially it could be. And I think Iron Fist is on the potential leak list that I think Model Behaviour started to leak out last year. So potentially, Damien, you may be right. And we might find out on Monday then. Is it going to be an Iron Fist? And hello to Tony. That's a new name in the chat there. Wants me to go to... Oh, I get Michigan. Well, I'm afraid... Being in the UK, and I don't actually have a passport, unfortunately, Tony. Um, I'm not gonna be able to make it to Michigan. Unfortunately, they won't let me, they will not let me out the Shire, as they said. Unfortunately, I need to uh, need to sort a passport really, just in case uh, we do make that international trip at some point. That, 
That seems quite interesting based on last week because Cheeky Monkey or Kiara, a conversation I was having with her was about a possible visit to a mania, a WrestleMania going forward. So you may have to get on that passport if you ever want to make that trip to America to uh, to go to WrestleMania to attend WrestleMania. And that couldn't have been a smoother segue if you tried, Tanner, because we're now going to go into the little wrestling portion because it has been WrestleMania this past week. And we will jump over to Mattel then because this has been fully announced and actually gone up for pre-order since we uh, were last on the air. And shout out to Fobo Joe for actually reminding me to pre-order the thing. Because you've got, if you want this CM Punk then returns to the elite line in WWE, so go to Mattel Creations and pre-order now. How long have you got to pre-order this? Um, do they say? I think it was a two-week window. Uh, that's helpful. It doesn't say. It says it will ship before February of next year. Does it not actually say how long you've got to pre-order this? Oh, it does down here in the description. Uh, da, 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 April the 7th. So April the 22nd. So you've got 10 days then. You've got 10 days for Mr. Charles Montgomery Punk himself there. CM Punk. Chicago made you make up what the CM stands for, but there Cookie he is. Cookie Monster CM. Punk, yeah. Cookie Monster could be another one, yep. Yeah. There was a, I always call him Mr. Burns, but yeah, CM Punk then returning to the elite line. And this time they've actually put some of the additional tattoos on. So his Pepsi tattoo is going to be, it's not going to be the proper Pepsi tattoo, but you're going to get something in the sort of representation of his Pepsi tattoo, which would be nice to see from the elite line. Uh, the G.I. Joe uh, Rashikage on the forearm there. Potentially they've tried to do it, but they've missed the Cobra symbol off the right shoulder. So they, they they definitely didn't want to mess with Cobra Commander and Hasbro there on the right shoulder. But CM Punk returning from his Survivor Series look. So I, for one, am excited for this as a massive CM Punk fan. Got very excited when he made his return. My Tanner is a massive wrestling guy. But I don't think you actually collect the figures, do you? I, I used to back when I was a teenager and then my youngest brother got to them and most of them are broken or missing stuff. But So I had my own little roster. I think it was Jack Specific at the time that was uh, doing the figures. Um, so I had quite a few of the roster, quite a few different versions of the figures. But yeah, after after those got broken i didn't really want to get back onto it so i'm enjoying it through your your collection is immense mate yeah Thank so you. i hope you will uh, yeah this cm punk will fit in quite well and especially the week cm punk has had what with uh various interviews and various cctv footage that has been revealed that has been I don't know why they did that, but what a wet it's... part that turned out to be. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Totally so it's certainly uh, an interesting decision, but this look does look like a brilliant CM Punk, perfect for his triumphant return uh, to the WWE. Yes, so that is a nice, easy one to start off with. CM Punk, quite a simple figure to do. But good to have him there doing his grey in the beard. So I'm a man that enjoys grey in the beard. So it'd be good to get Punk in the line. So you've got a, a week or so left if you want that one. Now, something that was dropped by um, uh, Matt Cardona or Zack Ryder in WWE this happening on the Major Wrestling Figure podcast is something actually I don't usually cover because they haven't had figures in a long time. It's TNA then. So Total Nonstop Action Wrestling is once again getting an action figure line. So these are going to be produced by Power Town, who recently came out with some of the Legends figures like uh, Vern Gagne, Kerry Von Erich, or the um, the classic figures they've come out with, Stan Hansen, Bruiser Brody. But they've gone into a modern line, and so Power Town have got the TNA license. So these will be going out for pre-order on Monday. I imagine they're going to be a little pricier, because I think the Power Town stuff was more like the, I don't know if it's $40 or $50. I knew it was, it was at least $50 on import over here. They're slightly bigger than your Mattel figures. These don't really scale, which seems to be a bit of a strange decision if you're going to not try and scale with the biggest competitor in the market. So they won't scale with your Mattel or AEW. They are slightly taller. You could fudge them in, but they are going to be tall. So renders do look pretty good. So my TNA knowledge is atrocious, but let me try. So we've got Josh Alexander 
I do believe. That's clearly Moose. So I'm okay. So there is Moose. I like his tattoo detail on on Moose there. Uh, that is, well, she was in the Royal Rumble. So that's Jordan Grace, I do believe. Mm -hmm. she, she would be a figure I'd kind of like because I could put her in my WWE collection as a special entry, but she might be very tall. And uh, is that Eddie Edwards? Yes, it is indeed. Oh, four out of four. Four out of four. Well done. DNA, well done. Stuff. So, yeah, is, is these anything you've ever even heard of before in terms of a figure line coming, or is this literal breaking news to you? So it's literal breaking news to me. I didn't. I don't really follow or listen to the Action Figure uh, Major Brothers podcast. So I this would have completely skipped by me um i remember the old tna figures from 2008 2008 around about i used to have aj and samojo two pack christian cage and rhino two pack there was a jay lethal in there i had at one point as well so yeah i did have all of these back in the around about 2008 line 2007 uh, and they were really good figures as well, albeit a lot skinnier than the WWE figures at the time. But yeah, they, they were the AJ bits. and the Joe, the, yeah, the AJ and the Joe did fit in quite well with the, uh, the WWE roster, I would say. Yeah, so yeah, so but, but TNA figures. These have been rumored for well over a year, but we've not really heard anything on them. So they're fine. <laughs> Alexis maybe that here. Nothing scale with the biggest competitor on the market. Who would do that? Todd, yes, that is a, a classic McFarlane trait there. Not in scale with Marvel Legends. So these TNA figures will not be in scale with your WWE figures, unless I am completely wrong. Let's go back to WWE then for more stuff that has come out this week. So they, since I've last been on, have confirmed the final defining moment figure. So it is CM Punk again here. CM Punk from his infamous pipe bomb segment many years ago back in 2011 i do believe so you get the stone cold steve austin shirt and you get the classic yellow boots and yellow trunks then as well on this one and of course his nexus because he was a leader of the second version of nexus at the time is a nexus armband as well and you can just about cross his legs so that's exactly how we'll be posing him so he is the final figure to round out the defining moment set which is now up for pre-order as a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. They are available from UK retailers, such as I think the whole shebang, Rock and Roll Collectibles have them up. But I did for once pre-order directly through Ringside Collectibles, because when you're buying the whole set, the shipping didn't actually work out too bad. And I think they only worked out about £30 a figure, which will be cheaper than trying to import these into the UK. So this is when they did announce at WrestleMania then. So it's Kane, but now you can see he's got the flame effect when The Undertaker set his arm on fire, and he will come with four flaming turnbuckle accessories. So I will finally get to live that childhood dream and set my wrestling ring on fire when it comes to when it comes to these. So these were half shown when I was last covering the wrestling, but they weren't all fully shown by then. So there's Rob Van Dam then in the display case. If you do want more in-depth wrestling coverage, then do head over to my videos playlist because the last two or three videos on the channel before WrestleMania, I went very in-depth on the reveals from WWE World because Mattel were dropping absolute fire reveals for days and days. There's been so much. The wallet is going to take a massive hit when it comes to wrestling figures this year. So there is RVD and the final figure didn't actually see any closer images of is LA Knight. So that is this year's yeah. training moment set. Yeah. So any of those tickle your fancy tanner as a non-collector? Um, fortunately, no. The closest ones would be probably the CM Punk ones. However, a couple of reveals from World that do look interesting are the Turtle WWE crossovers. So you've got Cody Rhodes as uh, Casey Jones. You've got Roman Reigns as the Shredder. You've got Kofi and Xavier Woods as uh, Mikey and Donny. Yeah, you've got Ray as Raph, and then you've got Seth as Leo. So if I was to partake in the WWE line, they may be a good entry point for me. 
especially you get the, this year's main event of WrestleMania. How can you yes. not say, how can you not acknowledge the tribal chief or try to finish the story? I think those two would be the ones I'd be most tempted by. Sorry, New Day, Ray, and um, Seth, but you're on, you'd be on the back burner for me as opposed to Cody and Roman. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we covered these actually last time. It's a good point. Yes, the Turtles WWE crossover. I do like the set, the not the set, the Cody Rhodes with the Casey Jones with his face paint on. I think that mask mm -hmm. is pretty really cool. No, I, I, yeah. I've got to try and avoid these, but I, that one I don't. And the fact he's got the green weapons like the original Playmates Casey Jones figure, I think that's. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. A little bit. Of, it's a little bit of temptation there. It's quite a fun crossover to to see yeah. if they end up in the sale. I might get myself a Cody uh, Rhodes. Of course. Now, I remember the last one's Playmates did, and it was basically the Turtles dressed as various WWE wrestlers like Roddy Piper, The Undertaker. I think Raph was the Ultimate Warrior. Um, they weren't very good, and I was perfectly fine and skipping them. But these are a huge step up, a huge step up from those. Um, yeah, especially that Roman Reigns and that Cody Rhodes. They, they do look they do look a fun. So we will now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll finish the stream this evening for those. So that's pretty much all the toy news you're going to get from this week in toys. Now we're in 45 minutes of toy news, but for the last few minutes here, we will close out. So if you have seen both of us, quite big fans of WrestleMania, and there is a four and a half hour live stream in the live tab. So if you haven't watched it yet, go and watch the watch along. It was a good fun one. Play it along with WrestleMania. But now we can finally recap WrestleMania. So we'll finish out here with our recap of WrestleMania 40. And overall, a damn good show. A damn good show. So finally, finally, the story has been finished. Cody Rhodes is your undisputed WWE champion. I think they might be dropping the name Universal, so I'm not going to use it. Cody Rhodes has finally, after a good two years of investment in this story, some great storytelling. And what the main event it was after Toy Fair in between it, the live stream the night before, a lot of prime was consumed, but I made it through. And when the, the bell rang in that final match, I was wide, wide awake. I think they had a really good wrestling match. We knew when it would be bloodline rules, it was going to be an absolute cluster of a match but they gave us a good sort of 20-minute, really good wrestling match before we got to the shenanigans. But if you're going to do shenanigans, you've got to do big shenanigans. So we went hard with the shenanigans. We had the Usos come out. And let's be honest, their match, in my opinion, was atrocious on night one. Nearly sent me I to sleep. I think that was possibly the... But it's between... the There was two matches on Mania, both on night one, I thought were utter... And both back to back. Uh, dumps the fire. Both back to back. Yeah, the Lucha tag and the uh, the Usos, the Uso versus Usos match had such good build, had such good potential. My expectations for it would be it was going to be a good match, and it was such a wet fart compared to my ex expectations, and compared to the rest of the show. The rest of the show on both nights were brilliant. Um, but yeah, carry on. <laughs> Yeah, so yes, yeah, so the Usos, I think, in the in the spear off the off the end off the uh, stage was better than their entire match. We have that solos the cover came down, and then Matt was happy about this when he'd seen the teaser course of the truck the other week. Here came John Cena. John Cena came down, took out Solo Sokoa through the table, and then came out the final boss. And I must say, the Rock's final boss gimmick is absolutely phenomenal. The fact that they've stumbled into this gimmick, I think, out of nowhere. I can't say this was their original plan to have a heel rock, but he has gone with it, and my goodness, has he gone with it. The rock has Did, been phenomenal. One thing I noticed with the final boss's ring music, one thing I'm very happy they did uh, it surprised me at first but it fits so well they used the hollywood rock theme music of the his theme and it was just kind of like when it first hit i'm like hang on a second that's hollywood rock music but it fits that final bus so well uh, and it's uh, yeah i was all for it as soon as they decided to do that 
Yeah, it was. I was. I was waiting. I was hoping week after week is he going to change it to that slow beat the the classic is cooking the slow original. Oh, the two thousand three heel rock was great, but this heel rock is is absolutely phenomenal. They've announced actually at the figure panel we will be getting a final boss rock with soft goods coming to the Mattel line, so they will get that one out as quick as possible. So the rock came down, um, took out Cena, rock bottom. And then we knew, okay, a big name is coming. Matt was utterly convinced. The same thing that Kev was in the chat, that there, the glass was going to shatter. We were going to get 316. Apparently, according to the, uh, the rumor and innuendo, they couldn't come to a deal. It was too expensive. So my luck was in because the bloody yeah, Undertaker... Vince spent all that money on hush money to keep his, uh, to keep his, uh, yeah, or his lawsuits happy, I guess. Who? Controversial, we've but yes, we've never we've never heard of that man anymore. He has been completely no. removed because this is the Paul the Vec era, as they told us about a hundred times. But I can't say I'm that bothered because I love Triple H. So the fact that Triple H is in charge, uh, I think he's done a phenomenal job at WrestleMania here. Oh my goodness! So the Undertaker comes out, the gong goes off. I literally leap from my seat at half past three in the morning. Cheeky monkeys sound asleep in bed, and somehow I did not wake up. I literally leapt as the gong went off. I was like, oh my god, Taker's coming out. Because of course, if you don't know, I am probably one of the world's biggest Undertaker fans. I must have over 30 Undertaker figures. It's absolutely nuts. So out he comes, quick chokes them on the rock and disappears. Some of my favorite footage is some of the Instagram footage from after for the crowd as Taker and his crew are running away, running to the backstage. It's been I've been loving some of the fantastic um, sort of outtakes from the end of the show. He sorts them out, and then Seth. Oh, I've already missed Seth Rollins came down first. Yeah, Seth you missed. There was a... When that Shield music hit, I'm thinking, no, they haven't got both. Because I was, I, Seth was obviously going to come down as a, but I got my hopes up a little bit. I'm thinking, no, they haven't got Dean and managed to sign Dean Ambrose for one night to come out as like complete the shield trifecta even though he signed with AEW I'm like yeah. and then say if Seth was in the ring and it's all sort of like okay yeah it kind of is poetic justice especially the little bit with the chair very poetic but can you imagine if Dean Ambrose would have been there as well at the same time when when, when the Sierra Hotel started hitting I was like have they oh they can't have I thought Seth definitely come in the shield but I was like have they got Ambrose? Have they got Ambrose? Because Kiara, when she wakes up, if they have had her favorite wrestler is Dean Ambrose, but not John Moxley. She thinks he's too violent as John Moxley. She likes him as Dean Ambrose. So if Dean Ambrose had a return, she would have been like me and The Undertaker. But it wasn't to be. But then in one of the greatest bits of long-term wrestling storytelling, Roman has a choice to get revenge after 10 years and hit Seth Rollins with the chair or take out Cody. He chooses... Seth becomes his literal shield, as he said in the storyline. He took him out. And then Cody could counter three crossroads later. One, two, three. Samantha Irvine couldn't even make the announcement, which I thought was phenomenal to get some true emotion there in the actual ring announcement. I see she's got some stick online for for that, but I, I think that's ridiculous. No, she's done a phenomenal come. job. I think she... Well, she's my favourite ring announcer at the moment, if not... She's one of the best uh, there is uh, of all time, especially the way she personalizes some uh, some some of the wrestlers' entrances. There are some of their names like Chelsea Green, uh, like yeah. Gunta. Uh, the way she personalizes it, adds her own little spin on it, is brilliant. And uh, one of the things I love watching on YouTube the day after, like Raw or pay per views, is the basically the focus on Samantha having yeah. and her yeah. uh, announcements. I just love watching them just because she goes so into it and it's just so emotional. You can tell she's loving what she's doing. Yeah, no, I love the behind the scenes footage of Michael and Pat as well. Some amazing reactions from the from the two of those as well. I do like the uh, navigating more sort of behind the scenes from WWE. But yes, Cody completes the story. I was so happy. Ever since Dusty passed away, I always thought, oh, I wish Cody was world champion. But he was still in the Stardust gimmick at the time, and they didn't change it. And then, obviously, he left and came back. And yes, we have a new era. The literal, the PLE, the Paul Levesque era. We are in a new era of wrestling. And wrestling, as they say, is cool again and on fire. 
to have somebody who's been watching it since about 1993. We're back. So it's I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Cheeky Monkey for my birthday on Wednesday is actually taking me to a WWE live event in Birmingham. So anybody go into that, we will be there at the back. We are there purely to support Mammy. So I hope Rhea Ripley is coming. Uh, yeah, Rhea and Becky, I thoroughly enjoyed the opening match of WrestleMania. For me, that might have actually been my match of the weekend. I, I do love a bit of Becky and I do love a bit of Rhea. So I did really enjoy that one. Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, CM Punk, the cash-in. I think that was great storytelling on night two. Drew getting that moment, but then couldn't help himself with Punk. I thought that's fantastic storytelling. Damian cashes in and looks like a boss as well. Damian's suit on Raw, that thing was mighty fine. Mm -hmm. You know what? That surprised me. I thought that match could have gone one of two ways. I thought if Seth was winning then the, a cash-in would happen. I did not expect a cash-in to happen if Drew won, but Drew's hubris of going after Punk got the better of him, and then that moment when Punk just ripped off his car <laughs> and started laying into Drew, and his reaction. Uh, you can see the penny drop as soon as uh, Damian Priest music here. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's... That surprised me because I expected it to go another way. I would have liked you to have a little bit longer of a run with the belt, but the, what they did, I'm perfectly happy with what they did because it was brilliant. Yeah, as soon as they got a camera shot, as soon as Drew was out the ring, he'd given the belt, I think, to his wife for a bit, but he just looked. I thought, this has taken a while. And then he just looked across the turnbuckle, and his camera shot was perfect. You could just see his eyes go to punk, and I straight away jumped up. I was like, He's cashing in. He's cashing in. As soon as he looked at CM Punk, I was like, we're getting the cash in. And Damien Priest comes through and wins the World Heavyweight title. Uh, Bailey had a fantastic haircut. I do like Bailey's new hairstyle. And she won the WWE Women's Championship as well in a pretty good match. But I was so tired by that point. I think I need to give that one a bit more. It's a due and rewatch that one. Um, mm -hmm. what else happened? It was just a good, it was a great show. That so, you had the, the, that the oh, phenomenal. that ladder match was crazy, it was really, really good. Ladder match, a WrestleMania ladder match, uh, it, in the name, it was brilliant. Crazy bumps, happy truth got his moment uh, at the age of 52. If he, the man is 52, he looks like he's 40 something, serious or 30 something, he looks younger than me. Um, younger than me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the truth is looking good at his age. I'm glad he's had his WrestleMania moment. Jay Cargill looking like a star on a debut match. Um, I like the triple threat for the US title. Uh, Randy, um, Randy Owens and uh, and what's in the Logan Paul? Yeah, that was a good match. I like the story of. Um, the IC title with Sammy. I was expecting with all the title, with all the big shows in Europe, I was expecting Gunter to win. Uh, yeah, Gunter to win. I was expecting him to go into those headline no shows as the IC champion, big matches. But yeah, the they swerved me. They made, they gave the title to Sammy. It's well deserved. And one thing I will say about the final view in that picture you can see there, Randy with his history with Cody, he looks like a proud father just looking at his son with the history they have there. The way he's looking up, he's like, yeah, this is your mom and I'm proud of you, son. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he, he's happy. I'm happy they finally decided to finish the story, give Cody his moment. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was overall. It was great, was it? I think we can all agree it was a great showing of professional wrestling, as uh, as they all now said. Sports entertainment mm -hmm. is out the window. We are moving forward with pro wrestling there as well. So lots to come and lots of figures. I saw Jamie said about um, Becky's outfit. That will make a phenomenal figure as well. So I always often look at it. What are they wearing? What figures are we going to see next year just to bring it around the toys? But yes, WWE action figure collecting is my first rabbit hole and my biggest rabbit hole. I've been collecting them since I was a kid. And yeah, it's never pretty much stopped with wrestling figures for me. So without wrestling, I wouldn't probably be an action figure collector. But ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, just under two hours. I think it's probably time to wrap it up there for this week in toys. It's been a very fun episode talking to Tanner. We had piles of toys. We had Mezco mechs. We had, and we got one for the replay crew. So if you've stayed all the way to the end, please do in the comment section, not the live chat, head to the comments and help the algorithm for me to get the video out for more people. Hit that like button. And in the comment section, if you made it all the way to the end, could you type hashtag laying some turf, hashtag laying some turf. And you will see when I get to my GI Joe video in the future, what I have been laying, but there is AstroTurf in this house. Tanner, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a very good chat. Where can people find you online? So thank you for having me. It was an honor to come on again to share these two hours with you. Talking WrestleMania, talking toys. Uh, you can find me SuperTech5000, Instagram, Twitter, always posting, always showing new stuff going on. Uh, and also on the Dan Who Network, on you get to see the return of my bit of wood, the Turtles and Tea, um, which um, we may do, be doing soon, because um, there's a lot coming out. Turtles, goodness. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it from me. Thank you, Tanner. So, yes, we've had Turtles, we've had wrestling, so I couldn't think of a better co host for the evening. For Turtles and wrestling, they're my good friend Tanner here. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, next time you will see me, of course, don't forget, it will be Monday. So Marvel Legends live stream, 11 a.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. UK. So when they finish and I get back home from work, as soon as I can, I will go live, probably some point between half past five and 6 p.m. I'll get a live stream scheduled. So hit that notification bell on the channel and find out, and I'll give you live reactions to what could be then potentially the 85th anniversary of Marvel line dropping for the summer program. So... Stick with me on Monday. So I've been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. And we will see you, of course, on the next video.